There was a little drama around finding good measuring spoons and cups. Should have been simple. Hey Credos! Today I want to share with you a simple kitchen tool everyone has, but a good quality that I found that I use now. First, the drama. Over a decade ago, I bought a very practical set of measuring cups and spoons. They were just black, plastic, typical. They worked fine functionally, but over time, the unit of measure, which was just painted on, wore off, which left me guessing which unit I was using. In 2021, I bought a new set. It had a plastic cup on the measuring cups and a plastic bowl on the measuring spoons and a stainless steel handle for each. There were two problems. First, the stainless steel handle was flimsy enough that if you scooped out anything remotely heavy like sugar or flour out of a container, it would bend the handle. The second was <clears throat> some of the spoons were mislabeled. There were two that were labeled teaspoon and they were not the same size. I actually didn't realize that for a couple of months. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Over three years ago, I bought a new set and I like them so much, I now have a second. Brand new, here's my old set. And here's my new set. So I just wanna show you what comes right out of the box. It comes packaged nicely. So first I'll show you, it comes with a ring. Now, I don't actually use this, but you could use this to hold your cups together, but ain't nobody got time for that. The smallest unit is a 16th of a cup, which is equivalent to a tablespoon. As you can probably predict, an eighth of a cup, fourth of a cup, third of a cup, half cup, two thirds cup, three fourths cup, and full cup. These are completely stainless steel for the bowl. The handle is also stainless steel and is attached very firmly. I've used this set for over three years and I've never had any, it's strong. I've never had any weakening or bending or any problem with that. They also all have a silicone handle grip. Now this isn't functionally necessary, but it does distinguish between the different sizes and it gives you a little better hold on your unit. Obviously these nest to store easily. Now for the spoons, again, pretty typical. We have a tablespoon, half tablespoon, which isn't always included, teaspoon, three fourths of a teaspoon, half teaspoon, fourth teaspoon, and an eighth of a teaspoon. Not all these sizes are in every typical set. So it adds a little bit more functionality. It also comes with a leveler, so you can scrape off the top and make your measurement level. The other thing to note about the spoons is that this center is magnetic. So these actually stick together. So you can store them nicely, neatly if you choose. The leveler also is magnetic. So these all hold together nicely in your drawer. Another feature I really like about the spoons is that they come in both a round and an oval shape. And that's really handy, especially when you have a spice container or something that is a narrow lid it still goes right in. After three years of use, I have no problem recommending these. And with two sets, now I'm really ready to get cooking. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and ring that notification bell. You can also follow along on Instagram at Midlife Credo. And you can join us in the Midlife Tribe on Facebook too, where we're thriving midlife without the crisis. Now go out and get cooking. Yes, I'm totally squatting down so you can see my full toke. It's cute, huh?